So I found that great minds think alike, although I thought of this about a month ago and started putting my pieces together to build this, I find that actually a couple other people are thinking about doing this as well, and it kind of makes sense. And there's an article about, I'll have links for all this stuff, there's an article about someone's getting ready to put one together with a special, some special software and I think a, a Kindle Fire tablet to have it do all of these great things. So we'll have to look and see how that works out and see how much that costs. So I then look to see, but, but we dec I decided we were gonna just do our own. And I thought first, well, I'll buy something and then just sort of maybe rip the innards out and put in uh, an Echo Dot or a modified Raspberry Pi running Amazon Alexa. So I did a little bit of research. So the first thing I found was this Iris 9000, which is a speaker dock and you know, as you can see, but it's not, it's not to proportions, it's smaller. And this thing has gone off the market and the reviews were, they're weird. You should read the reviews. There's, there's something going on with this red light. People are saying that it's not a good light for kids or so. I, I, didn't, I don't know if they put a laser in there or something, but in any event, this thing you can't find. This was like $60, but this thing you can't find uh, anywhere in the United States. You can find it on some of the Amazon sites in um, Europe, but uh, be forewarned, there is something going on with that. So then I look and I found this replica from uh, ThinkGeek, which is also no longer available. And this was uh, not, uh, actually 2013, and you could have it hang up on your, your wall, and the film is like, Coraline's like, I had to use a case. Um, you can hang it up on your wall, and it did a couple of the well, the clips, the voice clips, and but I couldn't figure out, you know, well, are there any more of these, and if so, how much were they? So I took a look. And I found another article, and that was going for $500. So, um, no. So even if I could find one, so $500 was going to get us just something that we could hang on the wall, and it would say those phrases. So that's that's not going to work. So then I thought, okay, well, let's see what's being offered for replicas these days. So I took a look at this one, and this gentleman or lady, I'm not sure, actually, this person from Etsy, is offering this one and it's shown here with the other pieces but again we're back to it just being on the wall hanging on the wall and i'm not taking anything away from them uh because you know they're using aluminum and plexiglass and electronics and so they're doing a lot of stuff so and the time that it, that it goes into doing one of these things but that was not an option for me so then i looked on then i looked on ebay and I found, is that the same one? Yeah, okay, so we can go to this one here. So I found this one, this one wasn't too bad, and we're gonna actually probably spend around that amount. So if you wanna save yourself some headaches, you might wanna go with something like this and then just pull the innards out. So that's not too bad. But again, I sort of wanted to make my own and I wasn't sure, and I'm still not sure whether we're gonna do HAL 9000 or SAL 9000. And the reason being that SAL has a woman's voice. So if I'm gonna use Amazon Alexa, but everybody knows HAL, so I think we're gonna probably go with HAL, but uh, m make it SAL as far as the, the rest of the time is concerned. In any event, so I found a, a couple of different kits. Here's what's a resin kit, which means that they're limited edition resin and some other pieces, but I uh, wasn't too terribly thrilled with that. So I said, okay, well, maybe I'll just make my own. And there's a link to a very good video where there's somebody who actually makes their own and they, you know, carve the pieces out of wood and they paint them and they do all the, the cool stuff. And again, hats off to them because I can't use all of these tools. I will lose an appendage or two or three. I will run amok if I am left to doing that. So I said, okay, this isn't going to work for me. So then I found, I started to find plans for building one. Now this one is from Adafruit and we may end up, so the, this is centered around Adafruit large arcade button. And we may go with this because it is a button. And so rather than have an Amazon Echo that is triggered by voice, which is obviously pretty cool, we could have it that it's triggered by a button. So you push the button and you say, uh, whatever you, whatever it is you want to say, and you go from there. So that's a possibility, but it still didn't solve the problem. It had all of the dimensions, but it still didn't solve the problem as to how are we going to get this, this frame created. 
So then I took a look over at Thingiverse. Now Thingiverse is all of these 3D, um, uh, 3D files that you could use on your 3D printer. And I looked at this one, I was like, okay, this isn't too bad. So it's, it's gonna have all of the pieces. He's got all of the dimensions for the piece and he's got it already cut out and set and so on and so forth. So I was like, oh, okay. So we might be, he even has the label there for you. He or she, sorry, uh, have the label there for you. And I was like, okay, all right, this, this is kind of good. The only problem is uh, I don't have a 3D printer. So I started looking at 3D printers and my wife came in the room and she said, why are you looking at 3D printers? And I tried to explain it to her and she said, no, well, well ba ba basically she said, no, I could not get a 3D printer just to do this one project. <clears throat> so then I thought, well, you know what? I had read an article that 3D on demand is like one of the big new hit pieces. So I did some research and I found this place, which is called 3D Hubs. And 3D Hubs will allow you to upload the files. Now remember, we already got the files from here. The files are free, they're free to use, free to download. You can go and get them. You just go to the thingy files and you see all the files there. There's the PDF that tells you what to do. And then these STL files are the actual parts themselves. And the STP file is, is the STEP file is how you actually put it together. So you can get these files uh, uh, from this. So I happened, I took a look at a lot of different places. I found this place to be the, the best. Um, I actually had a couple of places where I started to work with them. And then they called me and I gave them, you know, the quote that I got from these guys. And uh, they were like, yeah, I can't touch that. So you can do this. You don't even have to sign up. This is really cool. So you can actually go to get instant quote. You can say 3D printing. And it takes you to a page and then you say, okay, here are the files that I want to upload and you put in your location because I guess they find the nearest person that has those. So I would say upload file, which I've already done. So I click on upload and you just upload those files. And as you can see, it actually puts all the files and they're actually in 3D already for you to play with. So here's the outer ring. Here's the inner ring. Okay, that's cool. Here's the frame section itself. And in fact, they actually even have holds in between the frames so that we can pass wires in between them is the little lens cover so i was i was pretty happy with this and you can look at it in solid in x-ray and again this is all free you can just upload any file any uh 3d file and take a look at it and see now the other thing that was pretty cool is when you pick the material it will give you the quote right then and there so you don't even have to you know again you don't have to try to find this much more relaxing than some of the other sites so let's take a look and see. So when I was doing this, uh, my son wanted it to last forever. So he suggested that we make it out of titanium. So we selected titanium. And when we saw the price, we decided that titanium, that, that just wasn't going to work. And it tells you somewhere up here on the other one, on the other one, it's going to tell you exactly how much each pot is, but it's obviously telling us that the total pot here is going to be this. So obviously uh, we ain't doing it in titanium. Um, you can actually select different pieces and say, okay, I want these pieces to be out of aluminum and these pieces to be out of plastic. Uh, so we're, again, we're obviously not doing it out of metal. So there's different types. You'll see the, the PLA is not too bad. It's at, it layers at 200 microns and we'll, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. So the, the number of microns, the smaller the number. The, the better it's going to be. So 200 microns isn't, isn't bad. Some of the home printers are 400, 500, 600 microns, and that's why they look so horrible. So, but PLA is, is a little bit fragile, so I didn't want to go with, with that. Now, resin is much cleaner. You see it's at 100 microns. It's much cleaner, but it's also more much more expensive, and it's actually more brittle. It's, it's very, very brittle. So, Again, you see all these other, so we could go with a nylon. I'm sure you all know what nylon, you know what a nylon part would be. And again, and you can see this is at 50 microns. So hoo, hoo, hoo. So this is gonna be nice and smooth, but I don't need it to be that smooth and I don't need it to be something that I'm gonna use outdoors. So normally you just go with an ABS plastic and bada bum, bada bing, Bob's your uncle. So we got a nice 200 microns, which is really, really nice. You'll see it actually adds a texture to it as if it was, man it, it's because it's manufactured that way, but it's it's got a nice texture to it. So if you could get fewer microns, 
great, but you know, look at the price that you can see the pricing difference between this and the resin and the resin is going to be a little bit better, but actually, I'm sorry. Yeah. The, the resin, what's the resin? Yeah. The resin is going to be a little bit better, but it's going to be much more brittle. So let's stick with the ABS plastic. And then the next thing you do is you go ahead and you say, okay, fine. You, you submit your order. Your order is then looked at by somebody to make sure that the parts are okay and that the wall thicknesses and everything like that are fine and dandy. Bada boom, bada bing, Bob's your uncle. They say, okay, we're, you know, we're going to make it for you. Here's what the cost of each part is. And in my case, because the way I was doing it ended up being $73. You go ahead and you click and three days later, you will get a box containing your parts. So now we have to just wait three days to get our parts. Okay, so let's see what we've got. That's it for part one. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. I promise I will post part two within one week. So one week from now, you will see what is going on with Making Hal. Thanks again. This is the High Tech Nomad signing out.